Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is me going up Q3 of the weekly contest for Fiddy with teleportation traversal. Hit the like button, subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this one. So, I want to start off by saying that if you struggle with this, um, with the BFS part, um, spoiler alert, it is BFS. Um, there are a lot of easier problems, so definitely build up that, that, um, muscle of BFS before you work on if like we struggle with this make sure you really understand BFS uh, the reason why I say that is because I'm not going to explain BFS in detail because I don't know it's just a contest explanation video right uh, but yeah and then after that <clears throat> it is actually pretty straightforward um, you just have to kind of figure out a way to map all the um, all the all the portals together right and then number of ways you can do it um i think if you look at other people's code it's way easier to kind of kind of because i think for me um well i got a wrong answer on this uh honestly because i for some reason i assumed that there will always be two portals so i, I kind of coded it for two portals but now that i know that there could be um p portals then you know i just kind of um support it that way but the key idea uh, is just making all the portals into one giant big cells is how I did it. Um, there are a number of ways to you can implement that, but as long as you do it that way, um, then that's fine, right? Oh, that's how I did it. And this is the way that I did it. Um, I, ha I I kind of using uh, first, right? Uh, I for every cell that is an alphabet, I put I put it on a list. And then now I have an uh, NQ function, which is that, um, yeah, if if it's an alphabet, then we look at everything in portal. And then we just kind of update both the Q and the distance. The distance part is important because that means that now, anytime you go to other cells that are adjacent to the other, other, other portals that you can teleport to, um, yeah. But and another way is that you can think about it is that you instantly branch out and visit all the portals at the same time, right? So the D part is important, um, just to keep sure. And otherwise, this is just standard BFS. And honestly, looking at it here, everything is just standard BFS, now that we have the Q function, right? Um, pretty much. Um, yeah. Uh, actually, and, and yeah, uh, I wrote this in a weird, or I didn't write this with the NQ function initially, so that's why it's a little bit awkward. But um, and what I what I mean by that is that um, here you can also use the NQ function, but I I didn't do it be, just for that just because uh, I wrote that first and I didn't need it to fix it. But uh, let's uh, make sure that I'm not lying to you though that it still works. But yeah, um, yeah. And in theory, you can actually even remove this because if it's not uh, an obstacle, then it has to be a dot or an alpha, and then the Q already does it for you. So yeah, so we can maybe even simplify it that way. And once we simplify it that way, then now this is actually literally standard BFS, right? Um, if this is at the, the, the lower right corner, we return the distance. Otherwise, we just go up, down, left, right. With the extra caveat of that we NQ, um, we NQ all the virtual portals as well. Pretty straightforward. Uh, I feel, you know, looking back and explaining it, I feel bad that, you know, it took me that, that long with respect to the portal stuff. Because I was doing it with two portals and I thought maybe I could hard code it in a specific way. Um, but maybe I should have done it this way to begin with in any case. But I don't know. Even with two portals, eh, it's tough to say. But that is all I have for this one. Uh, oh yeah, what's the complexity? Well, you know, maybe you may think that, okay, there's a, a list, there's a for loop, maybe it's confusing, but we still look at each cell exactly once, right? Uh, well, once on the NQ, once on the DQ, right? So, uh, and maybe up, down, left, right, you could say four times, but all of one kind of uh, times for each cell, so it is still going to be linear, and linear being R times C, which is the size of the input. And that's it. That's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. It's a short explanation. Uh, if you know your BFS, but yeah, thanks for watching and you can watch me solve it live during the virtual contest with the silly mistake and how I did it next. Bad at mathing. Uh, it might still be wrong, honestly. Okay. <sighs> Dumb silly Larry. Okay. Um, we have a grid. Each cell is one of the thing, MTs, obstacle or an upper letter thing 
I'm trying to go from top left to up bottom right. There's a portal, okay, stop. Each portal may use more at most once. Would you? No, you would never do each portal more than once anyway, so I think that's moot because you wouldn't go back. Okay, so it's just breath first search, right? All that just for breath first search. Maybe I could even do better. I can just write do, 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 and then other do, 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 right? And then if x y in portal, then we do something. If not, then we set it to that. Otherwise, we then now other of x y is equal to portal of x y, and then other of this. Is equal to x y right? Okay, and then now we can but for search, right? It's but it's all one cost, right? Okay, yeah. Um, on Q dot append zero zero right, and then you have. Setting it up, right? Okay. And also directions up, down, left, right. So we turn negative one to the now if if x is equal to r minus one and y is equal to c minus one we return distances of x y otherwise it's just four d x t y to be not not pound sign I guess that's it right was it called grid matrix Ooh. I'm gonna lock my computer by accident it's not you go to that then yeah then now it could be one of three things oh okay so matrix nx and y is equal to period then we just do the normal thing um, and distances of nx and y is greater than distances of xy plus one and distance do, 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 update wait does it take one move to go to portal or instantly okay Okay, and then Q dot append do, 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 and X and Y, and then we're good, right? Okay, so then now, else if matrix and oh, now you can't do it. Well, okay, we just write it this way, I guess. This alpha, and, and I guess I'll, I'll update both. I think that makes sense. So that's fine, and then but we also want to do portal. So then the other way, um, mm, 
new new x new new y is equal to other or n x and y right i think by definition it, we should already have this but uh, i think i want to write some asserts but i am also i don't know right also early terminate but I'm not I don't know how I feel about that um yeah okay we have 213 hmm one one oh, zero zero hmm hmm why why am I not populating it correctly Photo. Oh, whoops. What, what, what did I try to write there? Oh, a portal of matrix XY. Okay. But then the other doesn't get triggered. Why doesn't this get triggered? If it is in portal, oh no, 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 Ugh. okay, okay. Uh, wait, where's my print? Auto portal of are we done here finally? <laughs> Okay, 413, is that right? 213. Okay, so I'm not taking the teleport, I guess. Um, wait, how does this work? So zero before the first move. Okay, the first move I, I didn't handle, so that's probably why. That's actually a really bad case for me, but uh, but that's good that that was in the case. 13 just doesn't have any teleport. So we, we want at least one thing that tests the teleport. So let's do, 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 do. So this should save a move and that should be three. Okay, that's three. It's four is no good because we don't teleport. Okay, fine. Um, okay, fine. So then now if matrix, it's nice for them to give us that example though. Two thirteen three sounds okay. Yolo submit. Oh, what? <clears throat> I didn't know that that's possible. Oh, huh. And it's not just one to one. So I would have gotten the wrong answer anyway. But I thought there's only two. Uh, okay, I just didn't look at the constraints correctly. Eh, okay, what a crappy, um, crappy problem. But okay, fine. Uh, no, that's fine. Uh, ironically, the, the first way I, I did it would have been maybe okay. I thought there was only one thing, that's why. But, um, okay. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. But here, maybe we can write. Okay, so then what I want is now, um, yeah, okay, so if this offer, okay, otherwise it's just normal slash I should have already checked, then now we have four nx and y in portal of matrix xy.
they should all have the same thing anyway, so I think that's fine. So... Really a uh, tricky day today, it seems like. A lot of weird things. Am I confident now? I don't know. One, okay. So then now we can also have multiple, right? So here. Mm, oh, I have an extra. Is that right? It is right. Okay. Yo, submit. Come on, no wrong answers. Okay, good. Um, okay. Let's not linger. Q. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about this problem, this contest, explanation, everything in between. Stay good, stay healthy to your mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.